Think Bitcoin's not bad for the environment? Think again. Introducing my newest collaboration with Greenpeace. I'm Benjamin Von Wong, and I use art to raise awareness for issues like plastic pollution and climate change. Six months ago, I was studying the impacts of climate change in Greenland, where I saw firsthand what the climate crisis looks like. Greenland's ice sheet is melting fast, and witnessing it with my own eyes was absolutely gut-wrenching. That's where I met Rolf from Greenpeace and learned about how fixing Bitcoin could help solve climate change. Here's Rolf. Greenpeace is campaigning to change Bitcoin's code so it stops fueling the climate crisis and harming communities. Bitcoin's the world's most popular digital currency, and right now it's using as much electricity as entire countries, and most of that's coming from polluting fossil fuels like coal and gas. Bitcoin's climate damage got 125 times worse in just five years, but with the code change, we could cut the electricity needed to run Bitcoin by more than 99%. But how to make sure that people paid attention? Enter the Skull of Satoshi, a symbol I built connecting Bitcoin and environmental destruction. This 11-foot skull made from hundreds of pieces of electronic waste, like the kind generated from Bitcoin mining, is months in the making. And hopefully, you get to see it in person soon. Changing Bitcoin's code is going to take teamwork. We need everyone involved from companies and government officials to crypto enthusiasts and climate activists. So like and share this video and follow Greenpeace USA to join the movement to change Bitcoin's code.